Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com. I've been away on vacation for just over a, little, over a week, and I wanted to look back uh, to see uh, what I missed. You always miss things when you're away, and you always get a little bit frustrated. But hey, the markets are always open the next week, the next day, the next month. Uh, so I've just gone back to last Friday, the 1st of October, and I wanted to, I've got the Think or Swim uh, trading platform uh, up here. I just wanted to go through a little bit um, of what we um, will look for the cradle to grave keeping things simple looking at just simple price action going through the european morning uh getting the one trade and then going through uh the open of the u.s session and uh getting in another trade into the close um so one of the things we look at here is um this is 8 a.m in the european morning uh there's no signals here um, these are basically our sort of gold pit open sort of highs if you like um, on YM and then we pull down and we're going sideways so we're, we've we formed a pivot a bit of a resistance zone we do have and again always important here we do have some overnight highs during the Asian session here which is important to put in as well okay because you'll see those actually act as support um, going into the pre-market session uh, for the US so very very important that first of all we um, I'm going to take that off because that didn't happen at that time and then we'll draw it in later how's that um, so it's important that we we start to as traders as futures traders on the five minute time frame especially we're starting to frame the chart you know we've got these overnight Asian session highs uh, we've got this uh, open for the European morning for the gold pit at 8 a.m. European time. Uh, that tries to push up. We have a massive reje rejection there, if you like, with um, with YM, and we come back down to form some new lows, recent, recent lows. So we've got a good framework to to start to play with, uh, and then we start to build up a little bit of momentum here, going just past lunchtime now. Uh, into the European session and we get a five and a six star buy on the X Brad Elgo. Not only that, using uh, the manager we can see we've got green candles. This, these are increasing volume from the previous candle. So these are what we call accumulation candles. Not only that, the six star buy has a little cyan dot above. That's higher than average volume. This is really looking good. So we're getting a good uh, signal here to go long and we're just breaking through this previous resistance zone here formed at the gold pit open for the European session and the next bit of resistance those highs from the Asian session is all the way up here so when we work out our risk to reward we've got to look at entries you can use a FIB extension so we get the five and the six star buy here um, you know if we go to the recent pivot for the stop just here we get the six star buy so we want to be just one tick above that high we can see we're about one to 1.5 with that um, conservative type of risk to reward there in reality what I tell people is look where your five and six star um, buys are look where the cloud is and just go below there that's your real stop down here you want to be nice and tight one tick above the six star buy signal there and you're over one to two to that next resistance zone so managing this trade is relatively simple in that we use the the manager to manage this trade also keep an eye on the time data points things like that um, the manager has the cloud which is our conservative um, trade management you can see eventually the, cra the, cla the cloud does turn red at this point so we would be getting out and taking that profit but a more aggressive stance and which I, I like to um, to teach people is this uh, when we get these uh, higher than average volume here here we get two of those we're coming into that support okay if we get another one breaking that support you take your profit as it happens it doesn't we get lower than average volume moving back up again here and we're just about this is the open here 15.30 my time in Europe, um, 9.30 US time. If you are in this trade from this early and you're just about to get the stock market open in the US, you get out of your trade. 
okay uh, purely because the first 15 minutes volatility is so unpredictable and you've got a great bit of um, of movement here already this is a great trade this is a lot of ticks and then we pull back down you see how this support from the previous Asian session did hold initially uh, once the, the, the stock markets opened but then we pushed down we got a higher support then we start to move up again so what we've formed here and I'll draw it in now is a big big fat resistance zone if you like I'm taking in some the the pivot here the pivot high when we had the stock market open here and the rejection if you like and then the bottom of the zone this pivot here this pivot rejection where we had these higher than average volume these distribution candles I mean this was a sign here it's, you know some some people would see this and and this using the manager and say right get out take the profit the thing is now we've actually extended this zone uh, because we've got uh, future trades uh, to, to consider so this framing of the chart is you know is continual we do then after this uh, initial move down get a six star buy on the ex Brad Elgo here but we don't want to go long until we get to this through this point here so our, our our entry is one tick above these highs here so this is our entry here our stop uh, the six star buy is here we need to be just below that six star buy here really tight tight stop we don't want to give too much away that we've we've actually won uh, in the morning session so nice tight stop between those low below those lows of the six star buy entry there loads of risk reward okay loads of risk reward if we look left we have got uh, major sort of resistance where we're getting through now at this point here and then the next lot is all the way up here three four five three three not not really um, gonna you know just lo so much risk to reward so much fresh air if you like and then we go long this is our long entry here three three nine eight five and we do get some sideways action here but this is where the manager comes in the the bias card is still green all this sideways action um, is lower than average volume these little blue dots on the bottom here so this is not really selling off there's no real sell off here there's no profit taking it's just sideways action okay uh, we do get some green candles in there which are accumulation candles we get one red candle which is distribution but the rest are low volume they're all lower than average volume and then eventually we do push up we get some higher than average volume moves in and we pull up again then we pull back and then we get lower than average volume again so we're going now and now this is the time where we get the aggressive exit here we get uh, higher than average volume uh, with a cyan dot up above we get a red candle which is a distribution candle there's more sellers in the market in this five minute time frame than there are buyers we get a bit of a rest then we get more sellers in again and higher than average volume that's the time to get out there that's your aggressive entry or you take it into the close and you would have, you know you would have won about the same amount so this is the cradle to grave bundle and we call it cradle to grave the cradle is the um, this the signal uh, the five the six star here the six star there from the expert algo now the cr the grave part is actually how to manage that trade with the manager here understanding pullbacks of lower than average volume understanding the bias is still green the bias turns red here take your profit on that first trade understanding the volume candles the color the colored candles accumulation distribution lower uh, lower um, volume candles all of that comes with training but cradle to grave get in the trade manage the trade to maximize profits so during the European afternoon uh, there was one fantastic trade we took the profit using the manager and then during uh, the US uh, session uh, once that initial kerfuffle had gone by we get another signal here we do the sensible thing we look left we go long we've got a decent risk reward and then we use the manager to manage our trade and not to panic 
a lot of traders would have panicked in this point here where we're we're going sideways but look blue dots underneath lower than average volume the up candles we get are higher volume than the previous candles so these are accumulation there's more buyers in this market than there are sellers there's only one red candle and that rejects the lows here price action wise you look at this let me just zoom in here um, during this whole range bound period there are more buyers than sellers why more green candles a gray candle is an up candle um, but it has lower volume so there's, there's you know it's about even buyers and sellers but look at these green candles since we entered the trade one two three four five six seven green candles there the cyan candles are down candles but lower volume so again they are they're fighting between the, the buyers and the sellers but all of them are lower than average volume so there's more buyers in here they just need some more volume to push through and eventually that happened we stayed in the trade we didn't panic and we maximized our profits this is a think or swim version of the cradle to grave platform again signals from the expert algo and then importantly managing the trade with the manager listen to the manager uh, there are lots of other versions available for our cradle to grave and great for day trading uh, futures forex crypto so hopefully this helps and gives you a bit of an insight on how our cradle to grave bundle works